Okay, so I was watching a tutorial series for Substance Painter, and in the first video, the guy mentions using vertex colors to generate an ID map in Substance, and I saw someone in the comments asking how to do it, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I have a bunch of materials currently, but I only actually want two of them for when I pull it into Unreal, so we're going to replace the other ones with vertex colors, and then in Substance, I can do the different parts and, and everything. So, uh, it's actually pretty simple. Since I have the materials here, I can just use these to select the different parts of the mesh. So I'm going to select the, the base color first, just the black. And then what we need to do is go into vertex paint mode here and tick the, the face thing there and then select your color. So I'm just going to do a, a blue and then go to paint and set vertex colors. And we can see it set the color to the what I had selected. So just go back into edit mode and do it for the rest. So it'll do the gold paint and uh, no, change that first to the yellow then paint set vertex colors and then do it for my uh, my last one here pa uh, make it green doesn't matter what the colors are you just need to be able to differentiate so set vertex colors and there we go so those have all the different colors now uh, so uh, I no longer need these materials, so I'm just going to come into object mode and uh, I'm going to select each of them and then just assign my base material to those. And then I can uh, and then I can get rid of them. And you just uh, you just export this the same way you'd normally export it, your F FBX. And yeah, that's that's it. And if you want to know how to use that in Substance, all you need to do after you uh, after you import it, you don't need to do anything special when you import it. Uh, just come up to Edit and then Bake Mesh Maps. And then you just need to come to ID here and change this to Vertex Color. And, you know, make sure you have the right one selected there. And then just bake. And that will they'll bake and then it's done. And then uh, if we if we we can just add a fill layer here, and then we can add a mask with color selection, and you'll see uh, here's our ID mask, and basically just pick a color, and you can see that's some, we can see that we have our different colors here, uh, the blue, the green, the yellow. So uh, for this one, I can just do the blue, and and there there we go, we have. Uh, we have it selected, so if we uh, if we change anything, it'll just affect uh, that that part. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, I uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, bye.